Hey guys, it's me and Glam Dude. <laughs> hey Glammy, what's up, dude? So, we'll see if we can get through today without dropping anything. So far, I have not dropped the goat. But, you know, I wouldn't be dropping him. We, we would just, he jumped. Alright, Glammy, go take a seat. Well, we play with some makeup. Okay, um, still using our Alamar brushes. Really loving these. Look, seriously, these are these are nice brushes. These are worth buying. These are, and I think I think it was like eighteen dollars for the set. And if you were gonna buy brushes, I I would say that these would be worth it. Um, it's really nice. Um, working on our mixed metals by Profusion this week, enjoying this, and also, you know, trying real hard to use up some more of these last two colors in our pan project. Uh, yeah, I don't know what those, the name of those two are. You might be able to read it on there. Oh, I do know. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, um, this is the Buff Collection by Pure Cosmetics. So, basically, I'm just going to take, uh, you know, it's going to take a while because neither one of these have been used much. I'm going to use this one. It's a little more purpley with some sparklies in it. And we're just going to go kind of above the eye here a little bit. I did not use like the whole transition shade. I just I'm putting this straight on my primer because it seems like it loses a lot in the in the blending. So um and I'm planning on blending this with something else uh in the other palette, so and I am really just trying to use it up, so if I do totally lose it, not really going to make a whole lot of difference. Alright. You know, I, I love the way this one kind of comes to a little arrow. This one just kind of, you know, it's the hooded, because the skin has folds, which... You may or may not be able to actually see, but um, the folds fold differently under the brows on, or, you know, in the creases on each eye. That's a little bit, a little closer to the same, maybe. <gasps> oh, I don't know. Anyways, um, so it's just, you know... It's hard to make them symmetrical because the hoods and the wrinkles and the folds are not symmetrical. So, oh well, sometimes it'd be like that. Oops, I forgot to put this back in here. Um, so, if y'all watched my last video, okay. I think I'm going to take Bark, this dark kind of chocolatey thing here, and I am going to, I can't believe this brush just, it rolls and it just, it's trying to escape. I'm going to blend it right in with that color I just put on, so whatever. Um, anyways, you knew I was having like a really bad I think we're not cooperating. Um, I took my brand spanking new weed eater that I bought on Friday. So on Monday, you know, it I tried to use it and um, it it worked really good until I tried to get it to release more line and I couldn't get it to release more line so um 
you know, I was like all bummed because, I don't know, it was Sunday night. It wasn't Monday, it was Sunday night. You know, like, I, I just bought this thing on Friday. Are you kidding me? Already it's not working? So, you know, I packed it up in the car on Monday, which is my day off, you know. Yay, now I get to, you know, have errands to run instead of having, like, an actual day to get stuff done here. Um, hmm, what do I want to do next? I believe I am going to take Showstopper, this kind of pink raspberry gorgeous color there and we're going to go whoo, the middle of the lid to the outside of the lid but I'm also going to blend it into that chocolate and everything that I just blended together up there so anyways I load that thing up of course I still have my receipt you know I mean I just bought it Friday so the receipt hasn't even left my wallet yet um, unbelievable. I take it in and, um, I took some other things in too that, you know, they wanted me to buy so that, oh, if you buy this package of oil, we'll give you an extended warranty. Well, I knew I needed the oil for the oil mix anyways, so I went ahead and did that and, um, you know, I was like, well, you know, depending on what we're going to do with this thing. I'm just going to put some of that right up in there. I kind of want to make that a sort of a chocolate cherry color, um, if that makes any sense. <clears throat> but, you know, so, because I was like, you know, if, if I end up returning this thing then they can take back the oil too you know I don't need the extended warranty if I don't even have the thing right so uh, so I go in and I go over and I'm looking to see if they even have another one you know in case it's a, a deal of you know we're going to um, you know, just give you a new one kind of a deal. Um, so, they don't even have another one, right? I mean, they have other ones, but they don't have, like, the one that I have. So, I'm like, oh, well, you know, that's great. So, this young kid that obviously has not worked there very long comes, oh, you know, can I help you, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, you know, okay. Um, I said, yeah, you know, this, I just got this Friday. It's not working you know, we need to figure something out, and, uh, I said to me, now, how much is this one that's up here on the wall? Oh, I don't know, you know, I said, well, you know, maybe you could go check, so, you know, he goes to check, and, well, nobody seems to know, I'm like, y'all are a bunch of go-getters here, aren't you, you know, so, I said to him, well, I just bought this on Friday. I said, it's, you know, I tried using it yesterday, and it will not feed the, it, you know, it won't really release the line. It won't feed out any line, and, you know, we need to, y'all need to do good by this, you know. And this poor kid, who, like I said, I'm sure that he hadn't been there very long, he says to me, I'm going to use the ferro, and I'm going to put that on the inside corner. Um, he says to me, well, you know, we could uh, return it, or um, we have a mechanic here. You know, it would probably be cheaper to just have the mechanic work on it. And I looked at him, and I said, cheaper? I know you don't think I'm paying for this. I just bought this on Friday. Today is Monday. There is no way that this item does not work and you know I'm not I'm not eating the cost of this thing you guys are eating the cost of it you either fix it you give me a new one or you give me my money back that's that's how this works you know 
could not believe they thought, you know, and he was getting this from his other little workers there, you know, they actually thought that I was going to pay to have this thing fixed. Let me see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's two days, are you kidding me? I don't think so. That is a beautiful, beautiful gold. Um, I have to remember to turn this light off so that you guys can see what it looks like in the actual more natural light because it is such a beautiful, beautiful gold color. Just really... And, you know, I I could do that eye a little bit better if I could see out of both eyes, but it's difficult when, if I get my hand between this eye and the mirror, I can't see what I'm doing. So, I don't know, can you even see how I'm just kind of hitting the inside corner here and bring it back? That is so stinking pretty. I cannot even stand it. Alright, um, let me see. What else do I want to do? We're going to take Angelic and use that for our little inside dot here. Okay, Angelic. The dot, which is just kind of a little highlight. Um, there's, I've heard several different reasons for this. I think one of the reasons is to just kind of it's supposed to give you a little more width, kind of an optical illusion, give you a little more width between your eyes, um, and kind of it sets off your eyeliner a little bit, because I use like the black eyeliner, so if I put that right next to it, it really sets off that black eyeliner. Alright, um, I'm going to use the Poppin' Bottles center color here. And I'm going to use that underneath. Oops, now I need the runaway. Where is it? Yeah, the, the runaway brush. So, um, I, I said to the kid, you know what, just give me my money back. You know, here's the receipt. Let's go to the register and just give me my money back. You know, I will take my money elsewhere and, you know, buy one that works because this is ridiculous so we go to the register and it still is the brand well apparently the mechanic that's there is also the representative of still and he doesn't really work for I mean he, he He's not like an ace employee, he's really a still employee, um, even though he does like some mechanic work for them, but he's not, you know, he's not like a, an actual employee of ace, you know, um, I don't know how to even describe that, but, you know, what do you think? Do you think that's pretty? So, uh... The kid calls back and, you know, to the back room, whatever, and says, hey, you know, I've got this still weed eater that this lady is returning. I've never done a return. Um, you know, is this just like a normal return or because it's over $100 or because of the brand that it is? You know, is there any special steps I need to take? You know, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'll tell you what, the representative came right out. Now this guy, this guy was on top of it, you know, and he, uh, you know, he says to me, why are you returning this? And I said to him, you know, because, because it, it won't feed. You know, I said, now, if somebody wants to, you know, if it would work, I would keep it, but you know, according to my salesperson here, the cashier, 
I would have to pay for the mechanic. And trust me, I just bought this Friday. I'm not paying a mechanic for nothing. I'm not, you know, I'm not covering the cost of this. I said, so, you know, if, no, if it would work, I would be happy. But, you know, if my choice is I'm going to pay a mechanic or I'm going to get my money back, then guess what? I'm going to get my money back. You know, I didn't, didn't, uh, didn't tell them that, you know, plus I'm going to let the whole world know that, you know, the Ace in Jonesville, Florida is like, the employees there are stupid. Um, I mean, seriously, that's like, I like Ace, I like Ace products, but this particular Ace, um, and I don't know if it's because we're like in the middle of Yuppieville or what, but this particular Ace is just, the employees are idiots, you know, um, I mean, they're, they're, Oh, can I help you as soon as you walk in the door? But then when you ask them a question, I don't know. Well, go find out. Hello. You know, I mean, it's not much use. You're not much help if you don't have any information. And even if you don't have any information, you need to be willing to go and find out. You know, I mean, we all have the cell phones that... You Google, you know, you can, hello, uh, okay, I'm getting myself all worked up, so yeah, I, w I was, so this, this, uh, the guy that was the mechanic guy, um, Brendan was his name, and I'm telling you, he was on it, oh, he, uh, you know, he takes it apart, you know, and I said to him, I don't know, there might be something in the way, there, I'm sure it's nothing that big of a deal, but, you know, I said, I have cataracts, I can't see very well, and it's brand spanking new, I don't feel like it's my responsibility to get in there and fix this thing. So he takes it apart, and evidently, you know, we tried, we actually tried it, we took this thing off, and took the whole cartridge out but couldn't really get the cartridge like apart and uh there was another bolt on the side of it so that you could really get to the the line well here at the factory um you know at the top of the line there's like when the line comes out there's like this little hook thing and they take the line and run it through that so that it won't you know self-feed in shipment but when they sell that, they're supposed to take it out so that when you go to use it, it'll work, you know. So that was the whole reason why it wouldn't work was just because, you know, it was a factory thing that the salesperson should have taken care of when he took it out originally. The original guy that sold it to me should have taken care of that when he took it out and tried, you know, started it and made sure that it ran and everything. He should have made sure that it fed line out also. Um, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Got the thing. It was an easy fix. You know, I'm still bummed that I had to drive in there and waste my time, you know, for somebody else's <clears throat> mess up. And, uh, you know... But I did finish my front porch steps and got a little bit more around in the front of the house. And I'm just doing a little bit at a time because I'm not used to the whole weed eating thing. And I know if I try to do like the whole yard, it's going to hurt my wrist and, you know, I've got to overheat the weed eater and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just doing, you know, I'm just knocking out a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. I figure if I go out there every day for, you know... 15 20 minutes and knock out a little bit more when you know keep down what I've already taken down especially since it's fall now the sun isn't out as much and uh, things have slowed down growing so it shouldn't be too hard to keep up with you know I'll be able to get that all under control so yeah I'm like happy happy because I was able to get that done 
Um, got another piece of furniture out of my house. I'm trying to really clean out. I'm, I'm just on a mission. I'm just on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I am. I'm, I'm just on, on a mission of anything that I don't use needs to go. I'm tired of cleaning stuff. I'm tired of stuff being dirty because I don't have time to clean it. I just want everything gone that I that I don't, you know, that I don't use on a regular basis or, you know, at all. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's definitely a work in progress. <laughs> at any rate, um, yeah, I'm liking this look. I'm really, I'm so glad, you know, can you even see? Ooh. That's a little lower light anyways. I'm so glad that I bought this palette because, um, I'll tell you, for the money I spent on this palette, I think it is well worth it. Very pretty. Now see, I think when I was trying to do the pink before, it was just blending away, but when I put it straight on the primer, it seemed to work just fine. So, yeah, I don't think that's... I don't think that was the problem. I think that was me. <laughs> oh, glammy. I know. Oh, it's a messed up kind of week. Anyways, I'm back to thinking about that gingerbread palette from Chi Face. I know. I know, but I don't know. I know. Do I need more palettes? Obviously not. Um,. If I get another palette, I need to get one from a brand that I don't already own. And I do already have the Chocolate Gold palette, which I adore and I don't use enough. I'm, I'm still trying to talk myself out of it again, but... I don't know. I, I believe it's like sold out at the moment. But yeah, I have a feeling that should I get the chance and... I have the money, you know, in the bank or on my person. I'm going to snag it because I like the chocolate bar formulas. And it's set up in the chocolate bar palette. So I'm thinking it's the same formula. I really need to figure out how to get to Ulta or Sephora so that I can get a good look at it and, and see what the formula is like before I go. Excuse me, because I have a hard time getting to the post office. Yeah, you can return stuff, but you have to actually be mobile to get that done. And, uh, you know, just not. But, but, you know, we've got a couple more new subscribers. Awesome. We love you guys. Um, Next week, we're going to have to do the Ipsy and the Boxy Charm. Uh, reviews for the month because the following week we'll be getting our new Ipsy and Boxy Charm. I'm very excited. Um, let me see. I think the fourth or the fifth, I get my sneak peeks on my Ipsy. And yes, I always look. I always look. You know, of course I look. Please, but you know, I'm pretty pleased with everything that I got last month. But you know, we'll we'll do some reviews and. Um, I don't know, I think it's well worth, you know, well worth what I, what you spend on the subscriptions for these two anyways, um, and this month anyways, but, so yeah, stay tuned for that for next week, and, uh, you know, of course, we'll help, we'll be trying out another palette next week as well, so, bye, subscribe to my channel, listen to the goat, if you're not a subscriber already, Hit that button. Hit the notifications so that you can see us, you know, smiling a little. <laughs> Three times a week or more. Um, just having fun with makeup. And, you know, I like pink. <laughs> so, until next time, I hope you wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.